One of the specific characteristics of an indifference curve is that they never intersect. Can you work out why they would never intersect? Let's go right back to the basic assumptions. The basic assumption number two says that preferences always hold. There's transitivity. If you prefer more of one to another good, then you will consistently prefer more of one good to another good. And then secondly, you always prefer more to less. And let's have a look what the case might be if we had, as we have here in this graph, indifference curves intersecting. Let's divide the graph into two sections, a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Let's look at this uh, indifference curve. This is indifference curve 1. To the left of the line, dividing line, indifference curve 1 is above indifference curve 2. But to the right, indifference curve 2 is above indifference curve 1. That's not possible because of transitivity. We can't change our preferences as we go. So that's the first reason why we can't have an intersection of an indifference curve. Any other reason that you might think of? Well, look at this position here where you have an intersection. At point A there, one is indifferent between indifference curve 1 and indifference curve 2. That's not possible because remember in our mapping of indifference curves in an earlier lecture, we said we always want to move further away from the origin onto a higher indifference curve. And so indifference curves can't intersect because if they were to intersect, it would mean at some stage you'd be preferred to be on indifference curve 2, any place to the right of the intersection, but any place to the left of the intersection you'd prefer to be on indifference curve 1. It can't happen because of transitivity, because of you always preferring more to less, and the fact that you can rank everything completely. So the, the property of an indifference curve which is extremely important is that they can't intersect. Indifference curves do not intersect and the reason why they don't intersect is gets back to the original three basic assumptions.